Hey, let's play some Vectric Scramble. It's not plugged in. What, what's going on? What, what's this cable? What? 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 Oh my! Yes, I made a Vectrex joystick box. Works good. I can't fly with one hand and hold my phone with the other. Evidently, but yeah, basically what you've got here. Let me turn this off. Basically, what you got here is pretty much this. Uh, Sumetsu LS32 joystick, some Sanwa buttons. Got these from Paradise Arcade Shop in Hawaii. Super fast shipping. Great to deal with those folks. Um, extension cable for the Genesis. It uses uh, nine pins, just like the original Vectrex controller. You do have to modify it. You just have to take the end, and if you can see straight on, it's got a couple like 45 degree notches in the bottom of this. So you just have to put those notches in the cable. Ugh. There we go to get it to fit. Uh, I just used the Dremel. I think I might have taken a little bit too much away. You can see a little hole there, but you know, it's it's still structurally sound. It's fine. Um, joystick box came from Mauser. So yeah, assemble all together and you get a really cool looking joystick box, I think. Uh, came with an aluminum plate that did not sit level with the edge of the box. So, I kind of came up with uh, a three-layer sandwich effect here. Uh, I made holes for the buttons, the joystick, and the joystick mounting points in the aluminum plate. I then took a piece of clear plastic, put it over the top, made all those same holes, but for the joystick mounting plates, I cut four holes all the way through the plastic so that the bolt holes would stick through them. I used a Dremel and got low profile Phillips head bolts, I think, uh, were they called truss screws? Can't remember what they're called, but they're from the hardware store, the ones with the lowest profile head, and then I dremeled it down even further so they don't stick up above the middle piece of clear plastic. Then I got a piece of 1 16th black ABS plastic from Tap Plastics and cut that, had them cut it to the square side. I, uh, rounded the corners a little so it would fit in there. I then put just the holes for the buttons and the joystick shaft. So when it's all together you can only see the top that's flush with the box edge now. And you don't see the joystick mounting bolts. Uh, the bolts that came with this box I thought were terrible. Uh, they're M3 metric and they had a big Phillips head and they were like a stainless steel cover color. So when you're using a joystick you can feel them. So I went to the hardware store, got some M3 metric Allen head button top type bolts. They have a really low profile. They're black oxide in color to match the box and when your hand goes over them you barely even feel them. Inside, um, I put some steel weights that I had from a, a PC joystick that I took apart for another modification. Put those in this side because the joystick weighs a lot more obviously than just these plastic buttons. So now it's got a nice center of gravity, pretty much right in the middle. Um, and that's about it. 
You can find these online. There is, if you do a search for pretty much Vectrex joystick PCB, you'll probably find the website that has this on the forums. Um, you can just do the wiring conversion yourself. You can wire resistors in line with the wires from the joystick in between where they go from the wire coming out from the Vectrex and into the joystick. But this was such a neat solution that somebody had already designed. Offers free. Anybody can download the design. Send it to OSH Park and they will make three of these and ship them and it was less than fifteen dollars. Now they're not populated. You have to go out and buy the resistors and fuses if you want fuses. You can just solder those together if you don't want to bother with the fuse for the uh, voltage coming in. 5 volts positive, 5 volts negative for the analog joystick conversion to digital, which is what this does. Um, so yeah, there's a piece of wood in there that has steel plates over here, this circuit board in the middle, and then the cord coming in, the Sega Genesis cord, is wired to those. Wires from these go to quick disconnects that go to the joystick and the buttons. And it works awesome. And it looks pretty darn cool. It is digital. Uh, for those who don't know, the original Vectrex joystick is analog. What that means is, like your gas pedal in your car, you just press it a little, it moves a little, press it all the way it moves more so it's just like a gas pedal whereas this is digital like a button on or off there's no you can't press the button halfway and it does a half press so that circuit board is converting the voltage it uses it senses how much voltage depending on how far you push it it converts it to simply no voltage when it's in the middle full voltage when you press in a direction so if you're playing a game that uses analog control, Hyper Chase is one of the original Vectrex games that uses analog control. It won't play very well with this. But Hyper Chase is one of the only uh, original games that use analog. I could be wrong, but there's very few. Uh, some homebrew games also use analog. So it's not, you know, throw this away and you never need it. You could still need an analog joystick but it most of the games use digital and so this is just a nice replacement I decided to build up because I didn't have enough projects and speaking of not enough projects a uh, guy at work gave me uh, another joystick he has that is analog um, it's this so yeah two analog joysticks they use the same 10k potentiometers as the original Vectrex joystick I'm thinking of using it to hook to player one and player two, even though there's only one game that's going to use it, and that game isn't even officially released yet. It's a homebrew game called Robot Arena, which is based on the 80s classic Williams arcade game Robotron. So one stick moves your character, the other one changes the direction you fire in. So I might just go ahead and uh, modify that Sony joystick to work with Vectrex as two analog sticks. But my next project is my other Vectrex. Uh, this is the one I got off eBay that had a problem with the horizontal vectors. They were skewed, they didn't line up right. Um, I fixed that and this one is the one I got locally that works. And since I have the other one fixed and working fine, I have got the cap kit from console 5 and I'm going to go ahead and recap this one as well and work on getting rid of the buzz in the audio. Um, this one I did the shielded coax cable and extra ground line mod that is on the console 5 website and I can barely notice the difference in the audio. It still buzzes quite a bit. So I have an external audio amp that I'm gonna try and see how that works. Because again you can never have too many projects. So that's it for now. Just finished that last night. The My first uh, Vectrex joystick box. And it works great.